Hello, I'm coming to you from a toy kitchen because there's no other work surface to use at the moment. But as you can see, I've got the 200p set up on the pier in the observatory and it might be clear later. So I kind of want to get cracking and get a camera on it so I can take some test shots and see what's what. Now, I was talking about how the 200p can reach focus with a camera like the 200pds. The best test for that is a DSLR because with a DSLR, You've got, you've got the sensor set back about 44 millimeters behind the mirror box. So you, you need a lot of tr extra travel inwards to reach focus with a DSLR compared to a dedicated astronomy camera, which has the sensor about 10, 12 mil back. So there's about a 30 odd mil difference between the two. Now I didn't have a DSLR, did I? So I got on eBay and Pick this amazing beast up it's a canon 20d this cost me 40 quid including postage and came with a battery and a charger and it's this is a prosumer camera back in the day like it's got magnesium body it's built like a brick top display great it's got a tiny little lcd on the back though but wow 40 quid delivered how cheap is it to get into astrophotography and photography now anyway I'm going off topic. So the good thing about this, apart from it being cheap, is that it's dead easy to get your spacing for a coma corrector. And I was talking about coma correctors and I recommended that the Barda one was the best one. So I took my own advice and bought the Mark III multi-purpose coma corrector by Barda, as you can see there. Now, it says the backspacing for this needs to be 55 mil between the coma corrector and the sensor. And that flange is one mil, so we need another 54. The camera, 44 millimeters from the front of the camera to the sensor. So we need 10 more mil, which happens to be the width of that T-ring, which attaches to there. So that little flange, one mil, this T-ring, Another 10 mil, so 11 mil plus the 44 gives us our 55. So how easy is that in theory? So in theory, this should reach, this should be optimized to give us nice round stars in the corners of our images on the APS-C size sensor, which this is in this camera. So all I need to do now is pop that in the focuser and focus. I've got a focus mask as well, ordered that. I've spent a lot of money recently. So <laughs> I've got affiliate links. I get 5% if you want to help me out because I keep buying stuff. Anyway, so if it's clear tonight, we can get this on and get some test shots. I'm not guiding or anything at the moment. So it will just be test shots. I'm not, I've not picked a target yet. I may have a quick look on Stellarium and see what's about. But if it's clear, I'll see you there. I'm putting the wrong cap on. So I've decided to keep the scope as low as possible and pick quite a low down target because if I point this telescope far up, poke it out the top, it's just going to keep getting blown around and there's just no way it's going to be able to track accurately on an EQ5 class mount. So anyway, I'm at the point where I'm just going to pop the Batonoff mask on and try and get focused with the camera on the Pleiades. Wind's just blown the focus mask on. Has oh, it gone? Oh. It doesn't help that my head torch has run out of battery, so I can't actually see what I'm doing. I oh, know it is. This is how this is how windy it is. Thankfully, these are quite brittle, so I'm just glad that it hasn't snapped or anything. I'll risk it again. Hopefully, the wind won't blow it off again. Let's have a look at that one. 
Let me take a few shots and see how they come out. Okay, I've had a bit of problems with my 20D in that the, the shutter's a bit clackety and it's causing a bit of vibrations through the telescope. So I've noticed even on short exposures, my stars are quite elongated. Thankfully, I saw a cheap 40D on eBay as well, so I ordered that and that arrived. So I've switched it out and it's got a softer shutter. So my stars are already looking a little bit better, not perfect, but I think the clackety shutter of the 20D is an issue. So at the price of 40 quid I've learnt something uh, this one seems a bit better so I'm on the 40D now I'll see what I can get